investigation. Let's turn to Amazon. Amazon and its third-party sellers. Just days after an investigation revealed over 4,000 unsafe, mislabeled, or straight banned products on the Amazon site, senators are asking CEO Jeff Bezos to crack down. Our Deirdre Bosa has more on Amazon's third-party seller problem. Deirdre. John, the three senators, Richard Blumenthal, Bob Menendez, and Ed Markey, they're asking Bezos to remove illegal, deadly, and deceptive products and respond to a list of questions from how did they get there in the first place to how do you make sure more unsafe products stay off the platform. They asked Bezos to respond by September 29th, and Amazon says that it will. Now, this touches, though, on a bigger third-party seller issue for Amazon. Amazon has been touting the strength of the small and medium-sized businesses on the platform that now make up more than half of all sales. This is sort of an indirect way of defending itself against antitrust scrutiny by saying, listen, we actually help smaller businesses. Look how much they're selling through us. But these sellers also represent a threat if Amazon cannot adequately monitor their products. In the wake of the journal report that found thousands of unsafe, banned, or deceptively labeled products on Amazon's platform, many of them were taken down. We looked this morning, though, and we found a number of misrepresented items still up on the site. These teething toys, have a look, they're advertised as FDA-approved. But the FDA does not approve toys. Same with this eyelash serum. Only one brand, Latisse, is approved by the FDA. Yet this brand on Amazon's site falsely claims to be. Now, Amazon says it spent $400 million last year on consumer safety and compliance. A day before the journal investigation was published, the company said it's spending $15 billion on tools for third-party sellers. The question is, though, guys, is this enough to stem unsafe products on the site and stem the backlash, which doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon? Back to you.